welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another quick tip sewing fix. I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a hook and eye on a bra. If you're a guy and you don't know this, but I'll go ahead and show you. Bras have hook and eye closures on the back. Our eyes here and our hooks on the other side. Here is a normal hook for the hook and eye set. I am lazy. I know we've mentioned that before. I don't like to like separate. Well, I do separate my clothes, light and dark, but I don't like to put delicates separately in another load or in another bag. I probably should because this keeps happening to me. Mine has gotten stuck in the washing machine or the dryer or something, and it has just been completely mutilated, not even remotely close to a hook anymore and thus rendering my bra useless. And if you know anything about these kind of bras, um, this one is a Victoria's Secret bra. They don't run cheap. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to fix it so that I can keep wearing it because this, I bought this not that long ago. So I'm gonna show you guys how to repair it. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't joined the pack yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. All right guys, let's sew. Okay, so for this, you guys, obviously, you're going to need a new replacement hook and eye set. For my bra over here, only the hook is broken, so I'm only going to be using a hook, not the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of this set here and show you guys kind of what that looks like. So here is your hook closure. It, obviously, it's a hook, and it's got two little hoops on the side for where you're going to secure it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. And the first thing we need to do is remove the bad hook from the bra. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my seam ripper and work on that. Do you guys like my new nails, by the way? They're amazing, I love them. They're press on um, fake nails. They're completely reusable. They're from the company Static Nails. I found them through another YouTuber I watch and decided to give them a try. I love it. They're easy to put on. They sound great. Some ASMR for you. They sound great. They feel completely natural and I've had them on for several days now and haven't had, I've had little to no problems. I am pretty hard on my hands at my normal job. So I have had this one pop off a few times because I am right hand dominant and it's my thumb. It's probably the most used finger of, of all of them, but they look great. I love the feel. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put them down in the description box below. They're very inexpensive and they have a whole bunch of different colors. So if you're going on vacation and you're going out to dinner and you want to change it up, it's really not that hard. You just pop them right off, stick on a new color and you're ready to go. All right, so I'm getting this guy out. You can see in the seam here, there are the little loops that were attached. It's kind of hard to see because it's black on black. I want to rip that guy out here. Getting closer and closer. I can't figure out if this would be easier with scissors. Ah, there it is. Okay, so this was the old hook closure in the bra. You can see there are little two loops where they were secured and the hook just totally mutilated there. So now we have the bra strap ready to go right here. We have the good hook and this is where I'm going to replace my new one. So there's two ways to do this. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit different in size just because I'm using what I have on hand versus buying a whole new set. They're a little bit different in size. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see without covering it up. A little bit different in size, but we're going to make it work. So to do this, you would stick your holes, excuse me, your little loops inside the seam and sew it closed. I'm actually going to leave it outside the seam so you guys can see what I'm doing. You can either one hand stitch, just a few stitches in each of the little loops and hold it in place, or you can go over to your sewing machine using a zigzag stitch setting or a button setting 
and stitch it in place, which is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead over to the machine. Okay, so over to my machine, I've got gray thread in place just from my last project. I'm gonna keep it so you guys can see, and also, like I said before, I'm lazy and I don't wanna change it. So I have the stitching from the previous guy here. Making sure you've got your hook in the right spot, in the right direction. I'm gonna slip my fabric under first, switching my sheen to a button setting, or a zigzag setting. And I'm gonna make my stitch length zero because I don't want it to move. So my needle moved over to the left here. Now I'm gonna slide in the hook carefully. I'm gonna use my ginormous tweezers. I'm gonna drop my presser foot and I'm gonna try to drop my needle into one of those loops without dropping everything. I'm gonna lower my needle here inside the loop. Make sure I got it. I'm in. I'm putting my foot down to hold it in place. And I'm gonna slowly do a few stitches. I'm gonna do it by hand first with the, with the wheel, just so I know that it's catching it correctly. So I'm gonna one, two, Right, so now I'm going back down and it's moved, so I'm going to lift my foot up a little bit, double check it, and put it back in the right spot. So that's two. Alright, and I've been able to do three by hand without getting stuck, so now I'm going to do a few more with the machine. Good. Now I'm gonna lift my presser foot and my needle, and I'm gonna move slightly over to catch the other little loop. I'm gonna lower my needle down. Okay, press your foot back down, and by hand once again. Let me check my spacing. All right, I didn't get stuck, so I'm gonna move on with the machine. And go ahead and pull off. All right, so there it is. You can see our new hook with our thread. The gray thread, very, very obvious. Obviously, you'd wanna use a similar color thread so it's not seen and a similar, similar color hook, but I'm using what I have because I don't, Going out and buying a whole new pack just for one use is defeat pointless to me, I guess. So you can see this guy, he's in the original seam, hidden. This one is outside, he's not in the original seam up here. I accidentally did it a little bit lower, but that's all right. No one's gonna see it. It's, it's a bra, it's gonna be hidden. And then of course you wanna go ahead and test it with your new hooks and eyes, one and two and they're connected, they're holding well, and there you guys go. That is how you fix a bra or sew a hook and eye. And I hope you guys enjoyed this sewing little quick fix tip. If I helped you at all, please hit that like button, and of course, join the pack, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys next time for another sewing tip. Bye.